Well, hello and welcome back, everybody, to another day full of football action. If you all goes, we uh, saw the ladies in the final few matches of the Women's World Cup group stage. Now uh, we're back here with the Cup America and later on we also have some of the Gold Cup matches. We're live from the Arena de Grêmio in Porto Alegre for Uruguay against Japan, one of the final two matches that will end the second match day. And now it's time for the national anthems. So as I said, uh, talked about the other matches, there's so much for you to see today as well. But right now, these are the starting lineups for this match with Slurin goal for Uruguay, Captain Godin in defence alongside Jimenez, Laxalt and Caceres, Benteco, Torreira, Derasqueta and Nandez in the midfield, Suarez and Cavani in attack. Japan will start with Kawashima and goal, Miura, Tomiyasu, Nakayama and Ueda in defence, Nakajima and Itakura in front of them, Abe, Ito and Shibasaki behind. Captain and striker Shinji Okazaki. So we are on the way in uh, what I said is the penultimate match of the second match of this uh, year's Copa America. Tomorrow there will be Ecuador against uh, Chile, same group of course, Group C. And uh, Japan have lost their uh, previous match for nil. Uruguay beating with the same scoreline uh, Ecuador so we've got two teams with the same number of points and the same goal difference in uh, this group Japan as you know one of the two invited teams at this uh, tournament we'll see if uh, they're willing to get anything out of it uh, certainly they see much tougher opposition than they usually do in uh, that part of the world but it's the Copa America, we are uh, ready for pretty much anything. Another free kick awarded to Japan. Tomiyasu getting ready to take it. Right across, but Gatine is there to play it away. Suarez almost uh, got the ball back. Nakayama, the pass is intercepted by Jimenez and now Cavani, great move and a pass to Nandez Suarez oh with a great pass to Cavani, shoots from there! What a first chance for Uruguay gorgeous passing they move the ball so well and well the shot really not bad especially considering the distance I thought he would continue to advance a bit further, getting closer to the box, but I guess he felt the pressure of the defender behind him. And so, not a bad strike in the end, really. Torreira to Suarez, uh, wasn't able to pass it back to him. And another free kick awarded to Japan, their third already.
right from the middle of the pitch. A long ball towards Okazaki. Once again headed away by Uruguay's captain Diego Godin. Now Suarez. And there are Skater. Backs out. Passes back to him. Torreira. Bentico. A lofty pass to Suarez, but not really precise. Ito. Reda. Alex attackers but can't get the ball back. Ito trying to continue to advance. Turns around. Shibasaki to Nakajima. And uh, Caceres with the clearance this time. Nakayama to Abe. Interesting looking pass here. Nakayama with the cross. That's out. Heads it to Dera Skater. And now Cavani. Hernandez. Suarez. Dera Skater. Moving all the way on the left side. Lacks out. To Cavani. Another shot. This time it's been blocked. Oh, that, uh, that could have been a really good pass in front of goal, but Castro's uh, got it in the hands of the goalkeeper. Back in attack right away, though. A good pass to Torreira. His shot has been deflected, and uh, Uruguay will follow this attack up with a corner kick. Really liking uh, how Uruguay is uh, playing on the attack. They are very creative. Let's see what uh, they'll make of this uh, corner kick. It's going to be taken by Dara Sketa. Looks like a good cross for Suarez! Another great chance for Uruguay. That was a really, really good cross. Suarez connected well with the header, but lacked accuracy. Otherwise, I'm sure it would have been uh, this game's first goal. Still, after half an hour gone, it's nil-nil. But uh, with Uruguay looking much better. Itakura heads back to Nakayama. And it goes back in defense to Miura. Shibasaki. Okazaki. A oh, great move. Unfortunately for them, the pass didn't reach his teammate. And now there is Keita. Gives the ball away himself. Nawashima. Got out of the box. And uh, we are in the final few minutes of the first half. It's been entertaining. We saw Uruguay, of course, with uh, more chances, being more menacing. But Japan's holding on well, and uh, I'm really not sure which way this game is going to sway in the second half. And the first half ends here. As you know, nil nil at half time. It must be seen if uh, we'll get to see any goals in the second half. Live again at the start of the second half of the match between Uruguay and Japan, Group C, and the 2019 Copa America. Uruguay, of course, I think would be okay with a draw here. They would have four points at the end of the match, but they could still be behind Chile if uh, they win tomorrow's uh, game against uh, Ecuador. So still a win is uh, preferable they would uh, already grab their tickets for the knockout stage and uh, this is why I'm positive we are going to see goals scored by Uruguay especially the other team looking to get the three points oh a terrible throw here simply gave away the corner kick Terrible throw, big mistake. And let's see Derasketa towards Nandes. He jumps for the header. The ball bounces back to Derasketa, and it's going to be another corner kick. Mm -hmm. 
delivery comes once again towards Nandes. It has hit one of his teammates. Really unfortunate. He gets the ball again. A great pass to Laxalt. Crosses. The ball is cleared away. Nakajima has to pass it in front. He gets it to Okazaki. Goes down, but uh, there's no foul given there. Casares trying to get the ball to Suarez. Okazaki to Ito. And now Weda. Back to Ito. Shibasaki on the right side finds Ito, crosses but it's not really a good one. Torreira fighting for the ball with Ueda. Shibasaki towards Okazaki, could have turned into a uh, really promising pass. Nakajima, Shibasaki, Bentako giving the foul and the ball is out. Throw into your guy. Jimenez. A really nice pass to Suarez. Uh, we're probably going to see a yellow card here. Yes. Tommy Asu couldn't have been forgotten for this one. Really, really bad tackle. Might get to himself lucky not to see red, really. But then towards Laxalt uh, comes the end of the pass. We guys started off the second half in attack. We had some really good uh, minutes at the beginning, and afterwards Japan uh, came back more and more in possession. But. Um, not producing much out of it. Final quarter of an hour. And the ball gets to Cavani. In the time, the pass well to Suarez and he really wasn't under pressure. Could have waited a bit longer and provide a uh, much more precise pass towards Suarez. They risked the chance in the end and 10 minutes left. Goal scored by either side would uh, definitely mean victory now. Abe. Nakamo passes back to him. Shibasaki. His pass is blocked. Abe again. It's a throw. And the first change made pretty late by Uruguay's 20, replacing the Arasqueta. Certainly an offensive uh, move to try and force the winning goal, as I said. One goal would be just enough this late in the game. They just have to get the ball back, and they do now through Cavani. Caceres towards Suarez. Going to get the ball under control. Good headed pass to Okazaki. And now they lose it. One minute added. Last chance for Uruguay. Oh, perfect first touch by Suarez. One on one with the goalkeeper. Has hit the post. Really unlucky. The attack is not over to Bentaco. They get it in the end. Right at the end, in fact. And Uruguay finally score. They were really unlucky with that miss. And uh, in the end, Fortune was on their side, actually. A goal scored right at the end. And just like I said, a single goal is enough for them to end the second match day with six points. And now they really can't be bothered much about the Uruguay-Chile match tomorrow, regardless of the outcome. They have secured six points and they are through to the knockout stage. Very good pass, good control here. Prepped the shot. Bentico knew exactly what he was doing. Great goal. 
and another change to waste some time if you don't there isn't any at all left I'm sure Pereira replacing uh, Nandez end of the match end of the tournament for Japan it's been uh, really dramatic thank you for watching hope you enjoyed as always and uh, now let's get ready for the upcoming Gold Cup matches.